had any idea how long it took me to set this up. And then I was about to start filming and then I knocked something over and everything was broken and I am really glad that you're here watching this. Hello! Now I know what you're thinking. New set, yay! Well, no, it's just a different angle. Where I usually film my videos is just right there, literally right. Over there, it's a small room. I'm really excited because I'm going to try something completely different and new and terrifying and hopefully awesome. So my whole life, all I've wanted to do is be a writer and publish a book. That's what my focus was career-wise for the first uh, 20 years of my life. But then I kind of decided that I wanted to do something different, something in addition to that. And I still write and I still really want to publish a book and I'm still working on that process, but I've realized in the past few years that there are so many things that I want to do. And it was very overwhelming for me to try to think in my head of all the things that I wanted to do. So of course I had to list them out, and of course there were a lot of them. Now I've always had a bucket list, everyone pretty much has one of some sort. It was one of my assignments when I first got to high school to make my first one, and pretty much everything that was on that initial list is not on the list that I have now. But even looking at that list of probably 50 things that I wanted to do throughout my entire life was still really overwhelming. So I decided I wanted to break it down even more, and it became a list of 30 things I wanted to do before I'm 30. Which seems a little bit much, because I'm nowhere near the age of 30. But there are so many things I want to do, and sometimes when you set goals, writing them down just isn't enough. Now I know that some people claim that when you tell someone else about your goals, you're much less likely to actually achieve them. And I believe that too a certain extent. I really needed at least one accountability partner for this, so I thought, why not create an entire new segment on my channel about my goals? So I am. A lot of these goals are kind of small, a lot of them are in progress now, and a lot of them I haven't even started yet. I'm really, really, really excited to get started. This isn't necessarily something I'm going to be updating you on frequently because I have a lot going on. I don't really know how long it's going to take me to even start on some of these. But as I start working toward them, I really want to include you in the process. So I'll upload a video. It could be short, it could be really long, it could be doing something crazy like going skydiving because yes, that's on my list. It could be something that's a little bit harder to show you like finishing graduate school or starting my own magazine but I want you to be a part of this. Whether you've watched my videos in the past or not, come join me. It's probably not gonna be exciting all the time, but maybe it will inspire you. Wheezy Waiter inspired me to start this. This is the kind of terrifying that's very, very thrilling. I'm the kind of person who sets a lot of goals and is kind of hesitant to actually get going with them. Things like skydiving and traveling all over the world. That's scary. And I'm probably honestly not going to meet Hank or John Green or give a TED talk before I'm 30. I'm gonna try my best to keep this interesting. Maybe it will motivate me to make my life in general more interesting, even if I don't show you everything. It's not what this is about, this is about me. And I know that sounds really selfish, but sometimes you just have to do crazy stuff for yourself. So thank you for watching this, and if you haven't already subscribed, because I'm really hoping that the next 20 of years is going to be really, really interesting.